G'day guys, welcome back to Mystic Justice. I'm Jay and today I've got all 46 pilot helmet locations in Titanfall 2. Now to make this as easy as possible for you guys, we've numbered all of the helmets in the bottom left of your screen along with the mission name and chapter. So let's get into it. So we are actually going to unlock three separate achievements or trophies, one at the 10th, one at the 25th and one obviously at the final helmet. So let's get into it. The first helmet is right at the end of the pilot's gauntlet, just before the finish line. Up here on this floating platform you'll find number one. And uh, if I turn around I'll show you the finish line so you show you exactly where you are. So before you finish, jump and grab this one. Alrighty, this one shouldn't be too hard to find as the uh, normal course of the mission takes you straight past it. So uh, just after this wall run you'll encounter some uh, prowlers and a little crashed pod and you can already see the helmet glowing right next to the pod. This is Captain Cole of the 3rd Militia Grenadiers to any militia survivors. We are relocating to the IMC Beacon at map grid 772-981. Anyone copy? Still on BT-7274, now there'll be two crashed ship sites that we enter, this is the second one. So grab the battery for our Titan, uh, as soon as we have that we're going to jump straight down and exit the crashed ship. And as soon as we exit we should be able to see the helmet across the gap, right there. So wall run and jump across and number three is ours. So helmet number four is on the mission Blood and Rust. So uh, shortly after entering the sewer, to your left you can see the uh, blue helmet shining in a caged off area. Just park your Titan up and jump onto some piping and that'll give you access to the uh, area containing the next helmet. Still on Blood and Rust, you'll come to this big room just before the control room. Uh, you'll see the uh, wall, the big yellow patch across the top. Uh, we'll use that to jump across to this large vat. Try not to get shot and grab the helmet sitting on top of the vat. Helmet number six is still on Blood and Rust. Go through this piping section. Uh, you'll come to a room with a bunch of allies. Uh, they'll be happy to see you, and to your left you'll see the nice big blue shiny helmet up on the platform here. Only 40 to go. So after fighting some stalkers, you'll enter a nice dark room, which will make it really easy to see. You can see it already straight across there, uh, and grab helmet number 7. Helmet number 8, we're going to have to do some wall running. Uh, when you come into this room, the pilot helmet will be way up on that uh, platform up there, you can just see it. So the wall with the big number 13 on it, start there and just work your way around until you get right up the top. So we'll come to this circular room with the disgusting sludge waterfall. Uh, up top there'll be the helmet and a Marvin walk working. The Marvin's the robots that do all the manual labour. You see them scattered around various levels. Now uh, we're going to wall run around the edges of the wall and we're going to actually jump over top of the Marvin and land on a little platform. So I'll show you where it is. There's the Marvin just there and there's the helmet right up top. So uh, watch what I do and grab this bad boy. Pilot, our paths will intersect <laughs> just up ahead. We are on to mission into the abyss. Helmet number 10. 
Now, during the mission, you'll come to this area through here. There's a sneaky little cave just in front in the darkness there. You'll have to jump out of your Titan and jump into the cave, and that's where we will find helmet number 10. And congratulations, because you're about to unlock the first of our three achievements or trophies called Off the Beaten Path. Now this hallway here, uh, at, when you enter it, Blisk and Ash will start talking about Kane. Now you can see the uh, blue helmet to my left when I turn around. Uh, you've gone too far but we need to show you this so you don't make that mistake that people are making. So uh, outside in that area you can see the blue glow right through there. I'm going to go back around and show you the entry to that area that you will likely miss if you're not looking for it. So we'll come to this section here in the mission into the abyss for helmet number 12. Now I'm going to look across the gap and you'll be able to see the helmet all the way up on top of some rocks there. So enter this narrow hallway, at the end of it jump out of your titan and uh, follow me. Alrighty, helmet number 13, you'll come to this area, a uh, landing pad with a uh, aircraft sitting on top of it, and the helmet will be underneath that. So jump out of your Titan and follow me once again. So you will come to this area where you have to run across some piping and we'll run across these uh, yellow walls and just after you land right here, look to your right and you'll see the helmet glowing across the gap there. Do some jumping and some wall running and grab that one. BT, how do I get to you? You must follow the pipes to the lower levels. Warning, losing contact. So we've come to this section with the big orange mechanical arms. And uh, if I pop over to the right, you should be able to see the helmet across the gap again. Right in there. So that's where we will be heading. Everything's just gone sideways on us, literally. And uh, we're going to run right across to uh, this area here, over these trees. More wall running, you can see the helmet there. And uh, we're going to land and grab that and then head back the other way. So we're going to activate this terminal right in front of us to get that helmet. Uh, activating this terminal uh, spins some things around and uh, pops them things out. And basically, it allows us to jump up there, as you can see. We've now got some platforms to land on. So, uh, follow me, and we'll get helmet number 17.
Now this one's uh, probably the easiest one of the whole game. Uh, as a natural course of the mission, you're going to land right next to it anyway. So uh, have a look and grab that one and we'll move on to the next mission. What is this place? The IMC has multiple scientific research facilities throughout the frontier. However, this particular one is unlike any known to the militia. How so? The large rings within the main campus are not an IMC. So we just collected number 19 from there, and we're going to collect number 20, which However, is there. The so let's go over and grab that one. In the other timeline. Alrighty, so we're going to come to this room here and fight lots of enemies, as you can see from all the weapons on the floor, I've already disposed of everyone to make it nice and easy for you. Uh, switch timelines, uh, you can enter the elevator shaft, switch timelines again, and you'll be able to see the helmet right up top there. So after we dispose of these drones, we're going to go and grab that one. So I'm um, switching timelines, uh, the fire and decay and destruction and all the evil robots, that's the present. Uh, the one with the humans running around, that's the past. So you'll have to access the present to get this one, as you can see the helmet disappears when you access the past. Uh, accessing the present, you'll just have to wall run across uh, from side to side, uh, avoiding the inferno below to get this one. So number 23, this again is going to take some uh, quick time shifting uh, back and forward from uh, past and present. You'll come to this section with the turrets, uh, do some switching to go through the wall, uh, jump on top of these guys, do some switching again because we're going to have to go through the glass here. So switch, jump through, and switch back to make the helmet appear. And 23 is yours. Again, this one's pretty easy to spot. You'll just have to do some shifting uh, as you jump on the platforms to make ones appear and disappear and grab that one. Alrighty, time for some zip lining. Uh, again, you won't miss this area because it's a uh, natural course of the mission. We just have to do some uh, time shifting as we wall run across here to make each panel appear or disappear. There's the helmet, uh, jump through and get this. Now it doesn't matter if you die after you get the helmet, the helmet is still collected. So if you do collect a helmet and then somehow get killed, you don't have to go back and get it again. You've, once you've got it, you've got it for good. And you've also now got the achievement or trophy collector for collecting 25 helmets. So we've collected that one there, we've landed here, now we're going to pop across to the left, time shift, and get the pilot helmet that's sitting up on the wall. Number 26. Alrighty, on to The Beacon, Chapter 2. Chapter 1 of The Beacon doesn't have any collectibles, so uh, straight to Chapter 2. You'll come to this rotating platform type section, and it'll be right there, right in the middle. Very hard to miss. 27, done. We've headed to the second silo. We're going to look right up. It's tucked away in a little nook at the top. Uh, you can use the arc tool to uh, activate the turbine at the bottom and shoot you straight up there. Uh, follow me. Helmet 29 and 30 are pretty close to each other, so we're going to run up these pipes that head up to this area here. And you've got this big structure in front of us with the big blue beam in the middle. Jump out of your Titan, jump up onto the roof, however you want to. I'm going to use these. 
There we go. And the helmet's just What's tucked fractured? away in the corner here. Fracture was the code name Number 29. The number 30. Operation. Very, very close. So number 29 was just here in this little corner. And number 30 is just over there. So we're just going to use some double jumping and uh, go and get that one. Heading 274. Alrighty, the Titan is going to throw us across the gap. When you're ready, mate. Trust me. So you're gonna wall run across the wall once you hit it and into the room here. And then open this door. Good throw. And we'll get the next helmet. Good luck over there. Richter, this is Blaze. Richter. That damn pilot is trying to use. So starting from the room where we got number 31, we're going to exit, shoot across here, wall run, and hop into the crane and use the controls to move the wall so we can wall run to the next helmet. So move that to the right. About there, so we're going to wall run across into that next section. Dropships headed to your location. Once you land, go up the stairs, activate this door with your arc tool. Head on in, up the stairs, activate that one with your arc tool, and you see the helmet up on the roof. Number 32 complete. Now number 33 is way over the other side, right there, you can just see it. We're going to shoot over in that direction from where we got the last helmet. So I've made my way slowly across into that direction until you get to this crane. Again, we're going to activate the crane and uh, move some walls around so we can reach the next helmet. Pretty simple, just move that one to the left so we can activate that next area and you can see the helmet up on top there. So this next section, where the next helmet will be, uh, you won't actually miss the area but you might miss the helmet. Uh, the area is a natural part of the story progression, so uh, you'll be brought to this section where you move some walls around to enter the large area with the big number four on the side. So once that's in position, uh, wall run across and enter the large building, and once we're inside, there should be a little area with a couple of guys inside, there we are. Jump up on top of that and grab the next helmet. So the story is going to bring you to this area here. We use the arc weapon to open the door. Your main objective is in front of you there, but we're going to look across and on the corner on the roof well, you'll see the helmet. So we're going to shoot across and get that one. Zulu 1-6 director, the pilot's intentions are unknown. He may be attempting to draw us away from the Titan. Nice. Focus on the pilot. I have other plans for the Titan. Alrighty, we're going to be heading all the way up there. For helmet number 36, still on the chapter of the beacon. Uh, this is the second time our Titan's going to throw us. He's going to chuck us all the way over here and then follow me for the next helmet. Alrighty, this one's going to be fairly easy to spot. You'll go straight past it as a natural part of the story progression. Uh, Blisk starts giving you a few uh, stern warnings, and uh, you'll see this one just up on your right-hand side here. You've been listening to us, eh? You want to be a hero, yeah? Okay. Keep coming, Keep coming. 
But if I were you, I'd stop trying so Alrighty, the mission now is trial by fire and the helmet is number 38. So uh, we come to this section here, you'll see fuel depot written on the roof just there. Pass under that and there'll be some red piping on the roof. Uh, get out of your Titan and jump up onto this next platform and uh, the helmet will be just in between these two spinny things. Technical terms, spinny things. Alrighty, so uh, the truck here with the two big green boxes on the back should be fairly easy for you to spot. So just after you pass that, on your left hand side there'll be a little opening. Get out of your Titan and pop through here and I'll show you where the next one is. Come on, pilot. Follow me. So you're going to approach this section where you uh, shoot up the elevator uh, with your Titan teammate, uh, grab the new Titan loadout, and just after this, uh, we're going to pop out of our Titan and shoot down the side. So uh, again, follow me and we'll get number 40. We don't have long to go, it's uh, 5 left and we're at the Ark, helmet number 41, there'll be a bit of a battle in this big area here, uh, shoot straight past them uh, and you'll see the helmet just outside, you'll have to cross this gap and we have 4 left. Okay, so number 42 is a little bit more tricky because we've got limited time. So we stand around here talking with our buddies. Uh, this ship turns up, brigs the ship, jump across as soon as you can, and there'll be helmet number 42 sitting behind her, red Titan. Okay, so we just had a big battle in this hangar, and all your boys are going to run up the stairs, but uh, it's obviously the room for that big blue round ring thing more technical terms for you. Uh, after you finish the battle, your buddies are going to shoot up the stairs, but you just shoot down this corridor. Right at the end of the corridor, chuck a left, and you'll see helmet number 43. Alright, the final mission, the fold weapon, helmet number 44. So you're going to battle heaps of things and robots and drones and whatever in this section. I've got rid of them all. Uh, you'll see the big A30, the blue writing on the on the white wall there. Run up the piping to the left and you'll see the helmet right at the top of the piping. Boom. Two left. Alrighty, so we've just defeated heaps of titans. Uh, we're going to enter this generator room. It's got a big uh, B4 written above the entry. Uh, take care of some more dudes. Uh, you'll see the blue glow of the helmet across there on the roof. We're going to jump out of our Titan and uh, jump up there and get the second last one. Alrighty, this is the final pilot helmet and it's in this room with the big blue rings. Uh, shoot past them and head up the stairs towards R5 written on the wall, jump out of your Titan and follow me. Congratulations guys, you've just found all 46 pilot helmets and you've unlocked three achievements or trophies on your journey. So on behalf of everyone here at Mystic Justice, thank you so much for watching. We hope that was enjoyable and helpful and we'd love to see you in the next one. So make sure you drop us a like and subscribe and say g'day in the comments and always remember, have fun. <laughs>